Hey, what's up you guys? Crew Farms here. Welcome back to UMRV. As you can see, we got our combine sitting here ready to rock and roll on some soybeans. Breaker, breaker. I'm all done. Roger that. I'll get it done. This case is flat. I'll get it. Hey boss, all done with this job. Over. Does not want to go. Roger that. I'll get it done. Oh shoot. Just wanted that to let you know I'm done with the fault. job. Over. That's a big 10 for good buddy. I'm gonna hook the PTO up here. There we go. Now he can copy that now he can what we can get done. Um Alright. And we are dropping straw. Sweet. That's exactly what we want to be doing. So, we're going to go ahead and get rolling here on these soybeans, and we're going to see just how high of yielding they are. We may end up having to call that neighbor um, that I mentioned a couple of videos ago and see if we can't uh, borrow his truck a little sooner. But from the looks of it, looks like it's not too terribly high of yielding yielding to where we can't manage with the truck that we have but we will definitely need it for corn so um, he said to give him a call whenever we get done with soybeans so we'll be doing that and then we are also going to have to um our other neighbor up on his offer to use his larger baler um, he's got a larger Vermeer that um, it's a corn stock special but he said it also is really really good for soybean straw so he's gonna let us rent that and then he's got a uh, truck and step deck trailer that uh, he said we can use to um, haul the bales so we'll uh, probably be doing that we'll make a good amount of money off of uh, these bales they are worth a pretty decent amount so we'll be able to uh, do that and we'll make some good money off of it um, what we're going to go ahead and do is while that guy is running and getting filled up, we are going to go ahead and get this rolling on some tillage. We're going to go ahead and get our uh, sunflower out. I don't think that we need to plow this year. Let's just go ahead and double check. Okay, so 32 does need to be plowed, but 33 and 34 are just fine yet, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off with, um, we're going to go ahead and plow field 32 by hand. We're going to kind of knock out a few tasks while we're at it. Oop, a little too close over there. We can kind of keep an eye on that combine with our uh, inspector there, so we're going to go ahead and do that, and then oh, a little bit too far off. How in the world I got this thing in here that far over? <coughs> We're still not close enough. We should be good now. If we're not, then there we go. Let's say if we weren't, then we got some problems going on here. We're gonna go ahead and 
pull this guy out of the shed. Oh, nice. And we clipped right on into... Breaker 1-9, I just threw a level 1 warning on this combine monitor. Okay. I'm filling up. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and turn on the super strength here. move this thing over not at all realistic I know but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do <clears throat> got these things in here a little funky so we're gonna go ahead and go unload that combine We'll be able to keep up with it with uh, just our truck. <coughs> breaker, breaker, I just threw a level 2 warning on the cattle tail come back. So we're going to go ahead and get him unloaded. And then we'll continue on our way with uh, trying to get into our tillage. unloaded we're gonna get on our way this is kind of a neat uh, straw texture it's nice that you can tell it's not like wheat or anything like that so Hopefully we'll get a good, strong yield off of everything. And then I think what we're going to do when it comes to selling is we're going to get through all of harvest. Thanks, Holler. I'm good. And we're going to get into, like, November, December area. And then we're going to everything in there is a elevator in town that loads directly onto the train we just got to pay a fee and we have to help them load the train and we get a very very good profit so uh, we might just have to take advantage of that especially for this year um, we need every penny that we can get so we can start uh, purchasing some land and some new machinery as well. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy unfolding. We're going to swing right up over here and... Get it uh, ready to go. And then after we are done with harvest and um, taking care of our bales, we are going to be going ahead and running over our fields with some lime. Um, and we should have put fuel in depth in this tractor. We'll do that because we're going to just take the chisel back into the yard and uh, 
unhook it and get hooked up to our disk. So when we do that, we'll top it off on uh, def and everything. So we'll have to bring down one of our def totes so we can get this thing filled up. I should go in and look and see what I would have to do to take the def off of this tractor because a tractor this old would not have any def whatsoever. Def fluid was not even a idea at the time that this tractor was produced. So I definitely want to take it off just not a realistic thing to have on this tractor at all by any means so <clears throat> I have something in my throat so I apologize for that I know we're <coughs> trying to do a realistic playthrough and excuse me Alright, um, I know that we're a little unrealistic with swinging this plow out into the grass and stuff like that, but there's only so far you can go to be realistic in farm sim. So we're going to stop here, we're going to jump over to this green cart, and we're going to go catch that combine because he is going to be pretty close to full by the time we actually catch up with them. So we're going to try and catch him before he fills. <clears throat> See if we can't catch up to him and get it emptied before that. So that way he can just keep on rolling. Our uh, hired hand, Steve, there does not like to sit around and wait. Get, uh, get him emptied and then just go dump it straight into the truck <coughs> right away. run down to the other end here and get this unloaded.
probably not going to have a huge amount of soybeans just because we've only got two fields of them and they aren't all that big of fields either. They are pretty decent, but they aren't the largest of fields, so. And once we get this unloaded, we'll probably just wait around for the combine because it isn't going to take too terribly long probably to fill up again. Actually, he should be fine. He's only just now hitting a quarter. <coughs> so we'll go ahead and we'll keep working on some tillage. At least uh, we'll do this field kind of on our own. We'll get the uh, plowing done on it today and then uh, maybe in tomorrow's video we'll get it cultivated and then we'll be setting our disc on its way on course play to kind of finish everything else up. We got a lot of field work left to do yet before winter hits. We got a lot of field work plus we've got uh, we've got to make some TMR at some point, but that'll be its own video cuz we'll have to make quite a we'll make a few loads right off the bat. That way we can just give them a good decent amount of feed and then we can let them be for a little while so we'll just do that in a video all its own not quite able to get it all <coughs> but that's alright we gotta go back the other way anyways so I could turn our dust down a little bit. Kind of kicking up a lot more than we need to. Alright, we'll get this last little patch done up. And then we'll take this back into the yard and we'll get the uh, chisel unhooked I am just gonna leave the chisel outside for right now um, cause I'm not too sure if any of our other fields are gonna need to be plowed again or not um, so So we'll just leave this outside until we know for sure.
probably just pull this kind of right over here for now. Just so it's out of the way. Get our hoses taken off and get it unhooked. And then we're going to grab the skid steer here and grab that out of uh, def. <coughs> we'll bring that down so we can get that tractor topped off. The time is now 12 o'clock. <coughs> and Okay, we'll try one of these other ones then. Not sure what its deal is there. Might have just bumped it and Must have bumped it a little bit. Perfect. We'll get this uh, topped off then. <clears throat> Only two percent. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave this one down for now, and we're probably just gonna leave the skid steer on. <coughs> I'm sure we'll need it again at some point. Get it fueled up. And we gotta jump over to this guy. <coughs> and go find our combine. He is just about full. So we'll go find him and get him unloaded again. going the wrong way of where we want him to be. So he'll have to <coughs> swing out. So we're just going to wait right here for him. and get them unloaded and continue on about our day for a little bit anyways
get out of his way. And then jump back over here. <coughs> And we'll get this guy uh, <coughs> hooked up to our sunflower. Let's see how uh, well we can do this. <coughs> see if we can make this less of a cluster get out. This is going to be interesting. Oh boy. Very interesting. have to uh, make some adjustments to the way <coughs> I have some stuff stored. Alright. Big dip there. Okay. <coughs> We're going to leave him there for the time being. Because we will... Uh, work with him some more in tomorrow's video Hopefully we get a decent amount of uh, bales off of the corn and, well, the corn ground we definitely will get a lot of bales, especially off of uh, field 29 over here. That's going to give us quite a few. I have a feeling if anything needs to be plowed again, it's going to be 35, 43, and 46. Um, <coughs> hopefully we're going to make enough money to where we can pick up another field as well. Um, I do want to make some changes to equipment. So we'll see kind of what happens. Um, hopefully... We'll be able to do the uh, both. But uh, that's going to do it for today, guys. Uh, when we come back tomorrow, uh, we'll be close to done with this field. Um, I'll probably come back when we're just finishing up this field. Um, <clears throat> while I'm waiting for this guy, I'm probably going to make a couple phone calls. See if we can't go ahead and get... Um, just go ahead and get the neighbor's truck and trailer right away. As well as get that baler and uh, truck and step deck so we can haul <coughs> those bales. And then we can just kind of get some stuff moving. So I'm going to go ahead and make that uh, phone call. Or th those phone calls I should say. And uh, we're going to let... Uh, Steve do his thing and we'll keep him rolling so that is going to do it for today guys hope you all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you are new to the channel welcome uh, if you like what you see hit that subscribe button and stay up to date with all future videos and uh, 
like a like always we'll see you all tomorrow thanks for watching